National photographer Amy Stones has found the perfect way to combine two of her biggest passions, animals and pictures. You've probably seen her work before for the Nashville Zoo. And now she's got a new hobby, capturing the fun side of man's best friend. Amy's joining us now with more. Amy, welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be back. Love when you stop by and I know you're a busy girl. I think you have the coolest job ever, and I didn't know it could get any cooler, but now you're actually taking pet pictures as well as the zoo photography that we know you for. So how did you get into the pet, pet photography, and why do you love it so much? Well, actually, I've been doing pet photography for a while. I was voted Nashville's Best Pet Photographer last year, and it's something that um, I really do. When I'm not at the zoo, you could probably find me with my camera in front of a dog, you know, in front of a dog or cat somewhere. Um, but, you know, we have four dogs at home. They're our family. A lot of people um, are starting to get, uh, want to get, you know, professional portraits on their pet because they're not with us that long, right? And we want to have a, a really great memory of them th to keep forever, and a photography can do that. Yeah. So I love to capture your pet's personality and, and get you those portraits that lot. They keep that memory going forever. And you found the perfect way to do it. In fact, you just got back from New York City where you took tons of pictures of pets in the city, and these are so cute. we got to show everybody some of these. Thank you. How did you get these dogs to sit there and just get that perfect shot in such a busy city. Well, I have a wonderful assistant, Lauren, who works with me, who, um, she's not a photographer, but she's an excellent uh, animal handler, I guess I should say. So I took her up there with me and she, you can't see her, but she's actually on her tiptoes holding the leashes <laughs> off to the side, which I took the leashes out uh, in Photoshop. But, you know, we want the dogs to stay safe, obviously, so they're always on the leashes. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, uh, just I work with dogs all day, every day, pretty much. So I know uh, what, what we gotta do to, to get them, uh, get them where they need to be, get them calm, and get that one shot. All it takes is one shot. That's all I right. need. So. Was it a challenge keeping people away? <laughs> it was. Busy? We did draw a crowd with some of them. Um, and obviously, New York is very busy, so it was a little more difficult than when I'm doing work here. But we still managed to pull off a lot of great shots while we were up there. That's adorable. And on the subway, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really loved that one. That was a lot of fun. So much fun. And then the next picture here, you said is your favorite picture. This is. Is why. This Thank is you. I, I had this in my mind before I went up to New York. This was the shot that I wanted. This was the dog I wanted for the shot. And so I was so excited that we could take him out to Times Square about 2 o'clock in the morning when there weren't that many people. And uh, he was he was just a trooper, and we got a great shot out of him. Such was a really little exciting. guy yeah. in a huge His name's city. Augie. I love He's him. precious. And the cool thing is everyone can see all these images and so much more at the Art Cold Saturday. You always have a gallery down there. It's really cool. That's right. Thank you. Yeah. I've got the Ultraviolet Gallery, which is located upstairs in the historic arcade, open the first Saturday of every month during the art crawl, usually from 6 to 9. This is an extended summer hour Saturday from 4 to 9. It's free. We'll have refreshments, and the dogs in New York will be on exhibit this weekend. Oh, can't wait to see all of them. Amy, thanks Thank for you. stopping by. Thank you. Great to be here. Hey, again, the dogs in New York exhibit will be showing this Saturday. It's from 4 to 9 p.m. at the Ultraviolet Gallery. That's located in the arcade in downtown Nashville. For more info on Amy's photography, just log on to NashvillePetPortraits.com. Come